The development of the A-10 Thunderbolt, also known as the Warthog, began in 1966 when the U.S. Air Force issued a Requirements Action Directive, outlining the need for a ground attack aircraft. The specified requirements were challenging but straightforward, the aircraft had to be inexpensive, robust, have a payload capacity of 16,000 pounds, a takeoff runway distance of 4,000 feet or less, a long loiter time, excellent low-speed maneuverability, and extreme survivability. In response to this directive, Fairchild Republic, an aerospace company, took up the challenge and started working on prototypes that would eventually become the A-10 Warthog. In response to the limitations experienced during the Vietnam War, where the U.S. relied on aircraft like the F-105 Thunder Chief, F-4 Phantom, A-1 Skyraider, and Army helicopters for close air support, the U.S. Air Force recognized the need for a dedicated ground attack aircraft that could effectively support friendly ground troops, destroy armored vehicles, withstand anti-armor weaponry, and offer greater survivability. The A-10 Thunderbolt too quickly became a popular airframe due to its robustness and the distinctive BRRRT sound produced by its 7-barrel 30mm Gatling-style autocannon. It was specifically designed for CAS missions, making it the only production-built aircraft solely dedicated to this role within the U.S. Air Force. Additionally, the A-10 could also direct other aircraft in ground attacks. The decision to develop the A-10 stemmed from the aging Douglas A-1 Skyraider and the need for a more powerful aircraft capable of countering the Soviet Union's large tank inventory. Engineers focused on creating a heavy-duty workhorse that was easy to maintain, had a short takeoff and landing distance, and exhibited durability. Notably, many parts of the A-10, including engines, main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers, were interchangeable on both sides of the aircraft, streamlining maintenance and logistics. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, with an initial unit cost of 1.4 million US dollars, provided a cost-effective solution. While its official designation pays homage to its predecessor, the P-47 Thunderbolt from World War II, the A-10 earned the beloved nickname Warthog, which is widely recognized and used in official documents. The A-10 Warthog was developed to meet the changing demands of warfare at the time. As the Vietnam War progressed, it became evident that a new generation of faster and more robust ground attack aircraft was necessary to deliver firepower while evading enemy threats. The U.S. Army pursued attack helicopters, starting with the AH-1 Cobra and later the AH-64 Apache. However, the U.S. Air Force sought a fixed-wing solution and embarked on a different path, resulting in the development of the A-10 Warthog. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, commonly known as the Warthog, serves not only as a ground attack aircraft, but also fulfills the role of a forward air controller, FAC, for directing other attack aircraft in ground supporting roles, referred to as OA-10. Its unique design sets it apart and enables it to excel in its missions. The A-10's design is tailored to its mission requirements. It features a large wing area, substantial left and right ailerons, and a high wing aspect ratio, all of which contribute to its exceptional maneuverability, particularly at low speeds. The aircraft is nearly as long as it is wide, with a wingspan of 57 feet 6 inches and a length of 53 feet 4 inches. The combination of its wing design, wheelbase, and oversized turbofan engines allows the A-10 to operate from shorter and more primitive airfields, enabling it to land closer to the front lines of battle. The airframe is constructed with a honeycomb structure, which reduces weight while enhancing strength, enabling the A-10 to fly longer distances to engage targets. Additionally, its cockpit features a bubble canopy that offers a 360-degree view of the battlefield. The A-10 boasts several unique specifications that contribute to its ground support capabilities. It can operate under 1,000-foot ceilings with 1.5-mile visibility, allowing it to effectively support ground troops even in challenging weather conditions. With an internal fuel capacity of 10,000 gallons, the A-10 has an impressive range of 800 miles. The aircraft's fuel cells are equipped with self-sealing capabilities and are protected by anti-explosion foam, providing additional safety measures. One of the most remarkable aspects of the A-10 is its armor. The skin of the aircraft is not structurally significant and damage to it does not compromise the heavily reinforced airframe. 
The cockpit and flight control functions are heavily protected, surrounded by 12,000 pounds of titanium aircraft armor, often referred to as the titanium bathtub. The armor is angled to deflect incoming fire and has proven highly effective in keeping pilots safe. The A-10's armor, along with its windscreen and canopy, which are resistant to small arms fire, constitutes over 7% of its empty weight. This level of protection allows the A-10 to withstand not only enemy fire but also fly through supercell thunderstorms, making it useful for monitoring severe weather systems. The A-10's twin General Electric TF-34GE-100A turbofan engines provide it with substantial power and maneuverability. These engines enable the A-10 to reach a top speed of 439 miles per hour, with a cruise speed of 300 miles per hour. Remarkably, the stall speed of the A-10 is relatively low for an aircraft of its size, at 138 miles per hour, contributing to its exceptional low-speed maneuverability. The engine placement on top of the wings, rather than below, helps protect them from potential damage caused by foreign objects on primitive runways. This design choice facilitates quick maintenance and turnaround times during battle, as the engines can continue running while receiving support in forward locations. The A-10 Thunderbolt II features various paint schemes tailored for camouflage during low-altitude operations. These schemes include variations such as a peanut scheme of sand, yellow, and field drab, a black and white version for winter environments, and a brown, green, and tan version. Many A-10s also bear distinctive markings, such as shark teeth, or a warthog head painted on the nose of the aircraft. Some aircraft even employ a false canopy painted on the belly to confuse enemy pilots by mimicking the shadow cast by the real canopy, potentially misleading them about the aircraft's direction and altitude. In terms of survivability and quick repair, the A-10 incorporates double redundant hydraulic systems, ensuring operational control in case of hydraulic failure. Damaged wing skins can be easily replaced in the field, even using alternative materials, as the production skins are not load-bearing. The landing gear, engines, vertical stabilizers, and other parts are interchangeable between the left and right sides, facilitating expedited servicing and faster return to combat operations compared to other aircraft. The A-10's endurance and capability to overcome natural obstacles contribute to its all-weather, all-day operational capacity. Equipped with night vision imaging systems and a goggle-compatible seat in the cockpit, the A-10 can effectively operate during low-light conditions. The A-10 Warthog is equipped with a wide array of weapons that make it a formidable ground attack aircraft. Its primary integral weapon is the nose-mounted 30mm GAU-8-A Avenger Gatling-type autocannon. This powerful weapon not only contributes to the Warthog's distinctive appearance, but also provides a potent option for engaging both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air targets. The A-10 can carry a significant amount of armament on its multiple hardpoints, including bombs, mines, and various types of missiles. The AGM-65 Maverick surface-to-air missile is a commonly used weapon that aligns perfectly with the A-10's mission. Surprisingly, the A-10 carries more weight in weapons than its own empty weight. With a weight of 12 tons, the A-10 can carry a maximum of 13 tons of armament, including the GAU-8 slash a cannon. The addition of AGM-65 missiles further increases its weight. These missiles, weighing 670 pounds each, have the capability to destroy a tank in a single shot. While bombs are released using precise technology, the cannon is fired manually by the pilot. The A-10 Warthog's most prominent weapon is the 30mm GAU-8-A Avenger Gatling gun, which is situated in the front of the aircraft. To accommodate this massive weapon, the front landing gear retracts in an offset position, with the rear wheels aligned with the fuselage. The GAU-8-A's barrel extends from the nose of the A-10, and is the heaviest automatic cannon ever mounted on an aircraft. The gun alone accounts for 16% of the A-10's weight, and is larger than a Volkswagen Bug. During maintenance technicians sometimes remove the gun from the aircraft, using a support to prevent the nose from tipping up. The GAU-8-A is designed to fire high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds at a rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. These bullets are approximately the size of beer bottles. However, due to the high rate of fire, 
the cannon heats up quickly and cannot sustain continuous firing for more than a few seconds, as it would overheat and become ineffective. Firing the cannon also produces significant smoke that could potentially choke out a jet engine. In early testing, the engine struggled to receive sufficient oxygen while the gun was firing, leading to the development of a unique combustion chamber that allows the engines to continue running during gun firing. Moreover, the recoil generated by the cannon is so powerful that it affects the aircraft's trajectory. To counterbalance this recoil, the GAU-8-A 30mm cannon is installed slightly off-center, offsetting the change caused by the recoil. As a result, the A-10 Warthog exhibits an unequal turning radius on the ground, with right turns requiring less distance than left turns. The distinctive sound produced by the Gatling gun during firing is often referred to as BRRRT. The A-10 is equipped with heads-up displays that provide pilots with critical information such as altitude, navigation data, dive angle, airspeed, and weapons aiming references. Additionally, it incorporates a low-altitude safety and targeting enhancement system that continuously computes the impact point for freefall ordnance delivery. For ammunition loading, the A-10 has a dedicated vehicle called the Dragon that is specifically designed for this purpose. In terms of weapon capacity, the A-10 features 11 store pylons, allowing for an external load capacity of 7,260 kg. Three pylons are located under the fuselage, and the centerline pylon and the two flanking fuselage pylons can be configured accordingly. The A-10 can carry up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missiles, such as the Raytheon AGM-65. These missiles utilize various guidance systems, including imaging infrared guidance, and are equipped with warheads capable of penetrating targets effectively. The range of these missiles exceeds 45 kilometers. The aircraft is also capable of carrying Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, 2.75-inch rockets, and a wide range of bombs, including low-slash-high-drag bombs, general-purpose bombs, cluster bombs, combined effects munitions, mine-dispensing munitions, and laser-guided-slash-electro-optically-guided bombs. The Northrop Grumman Lightning ER targeting pod has been integrated successfully on the A-10, providing enhanced targeting capabilities with its thermal imager, CCD-TV, laser spot tracker slash rangefinder, IR marker, and laser designator. The A-10's most prominent weapon remains the General Dynamics GAU-8 A Avenger 30mm cannon, mounted in the aircraft's nose. With this cannon, the A-10 can disable a main battle tank from a range of over 6, 500 m. The cannon fires a range of ammunition, including armor-piercing incendiary rounds weighing up to 0.75 kg, or uranium-depleted API rounds weighing 0.43 kg. The magazine can hold 1,350 rounds of ammunition, and the pilot can select a firing rate of either 2,100 or 4,200 rounds per minute. The A-10 Warthog is powered by two TF-34G 100 non-afterburning turbofan engines, manufactured by General Electric. Each engine provides 9,065 pounds of thrust. The engines are positioned high on the fuselage, which allows the pilot to continue flying the aircraft even if one engine becomes inoperable. In terms of performance, the A-10 has a standard range of 800 miles, 1,287 kilometers, and a maximum speed of 420 miles per hour, Mach 0.56. It is capable of reaching altitudes of up to 45,000 feet, 13,636 meters. The A-10 Warthog has a long history of combat experience and has proven its effectiveness in battle. It first saw real combat during the 1991 Gulf War, where it played a crucial role in providing close air support to coalition forces. During the war, A-10S destroyed numerous Iraqi tanks, with two aircraft destroying 23 tanks in just three sorties. This display of firepower led some Iraqi soldiers to refer to the A-10 as the Cross of Death, owing to its distinctive appearance from underneath, resembling a cross. Throughout the conflict, the A-10 Warthog achieved a mission-capable rate of 85% and fired a staggering 311,500 and 97 rounds of 30 mm ammunition. Despite the hazardous missions flown, only one A-10 was shot down by the enemy. The A-10 has continued to prove its effectiveness in subsequent conflicts, 
including the ongoing war on terror in the Middle East and Afghanistan. As of 2015, the A-10 Thunderbolt has flown approximately 11% of all United States Air Force sorties against ISIS in Syria and Iraq, though this represents a decrease from its involvement in previous operations such as Operation Iraqi Freedom and Afghanistan, where it accounted for about 32% of combat sorties in both theaters. In addition to its combat role, the A-10 has also participated in notable missions such as the rescue of a downed F-117 pilot in Kosovo in 1999. During this operation, an A-10 provided ground support while three helicopters executed the rescue mission. Despite its proven track record and accolades, the future of the A-10 Warthog remains uncertain. The aging nature of the fleet has raised questions about its sustainability, particularly as unmanned drones are increasingly being used in ground attack and close air support roles. There have been discussions about potentially having the F-35 Lightning to assume many of the functions currently handled by the A-10. However, this proposal has faced opposition within the U.S. Air Force, complicating any decision-making process. While there are no definite plans for retirement at present, the future of the A-10 Warthog is uncertain, and its days in service may be numbered.